What's up guys, Rich Duperbash back in the shop again. Super excited to share this new platform with you. What you're looking at is the M2C Sledge XL, AKA the Jackhammer. Guys that watch my channel regularly probably notice I haven't had my sledge out in months. Kind of lost interest to be honest. Kind of got bored with a stock sledge wheelbase and setup. Fortunately, I found out when Mitch and Avery were gonna do an XL version, my interest suddenly peaked. What you're looking at guys here is a killer seven scale option. It's about 2.3 inches longer than the stock sledge. This option is absolutely perfect for people like me that just want a little bit more. Ends up being about an inch longer than the Creighton XL using the Mojave chassis. By going longer guys, not only do you get killer, killer high speed handling and control, but you're left with a ton of chassis space to put whatever electronic setup you want. The genius part is Mitch and Avery designed the chassis to accept a ton of Arma bits as well as the stock sledge stuff. Again, guys, this is a prototype. You'll see this has got a red cap body on it. This is a machete body. Big shout out to Aldo Loyal, my bash brother from the test team. He was the first one to get this sucker fitted up. It's definitely a nice body option for this length. It's really rigid. It's got some pretty thick Lexan. Hats off to Red Cat. I was able to use the existing holes up front. All I had to do was use the Outcast 6S rear body mounts in the front. For the rear, I did have to make my own holes. You'll see the originals there. I ended up having to cut off a little bit over an inch in the rear just to have clearance. You'll see it does cover the towers. It sounds like Basher Bodies is coming up with a couple different body options for this sucker. You'll see from the back, I fitted a Creighton 6S wing. Width-wise, it pairs up with this body quite nicely. Definitely loving the black, silver, and gray. There is some gap essentially between the chassis and the side skirts. You'll see there's about three quarter inch on each side. So this body doesn't fit perfectly, but it definitely has a clean, sleek, low profile look. Quick look from the bottom guys. This chassis is absolutely gorgeous. Like all the M2C racing upgrade options. You'll notice the plethora of holes here. And this is just to give guys options. You can run forward or reverse motor mount setup, forward or reverse mounted ESC. You can run the stock lipo tray setup or the Arma 6S one that I absolutely love. Went ahead and tossed a fresh skid on here. I was starting to eat up my screw heads and there's a look at the RPM bumper from the bottom. Quick pan front to back. You'll notice all the chassis space in there. The kit obviously came with the chassis and then you'll notice this absolute beefcake tower to tower brace. You'll see there's 7075 mounts that bolt up onto the towers both front and rear. You'll notice the machine Delrin bushings in here are basically allow the brace to move just a little bit for impacts. And then there's these super trick machine body mounts. These things aren't going anywhere. You'll notice there's a spot for the M3 nylon lock nuts in there. Really loving this setup. Plenty of room to get your fingers in there at wrench. Obviously you can go with the reverse or the stock forward facing motor mount. And with the space in here, you can go absolutely gigantic. For my setup guys, I'm sticking with the same power plant. This thing absolutely rips. Hobbywing 4985, 1650 KV. I think I've got a 20 tooth on there with a 46 spur. Obviously still running my Max 6. From what I'm seeing, you could slip a Max 5 in here if you're absolutely nuts. For servo, I'm probably gonna drop in another perfect pass. These have been absolutely epic in my other rigs. For now, I'm just running my Power HD, my budget servo. As far as my setup guys, I think I'm running 20 million center diff. I've got 100 up front and I think I'm running 50 in the rear. For shock setup, I'm running 80 in the rear and I've got 90 up front. As far as the extra length, you'll notice you're basically using two rear drive shafts. Those happen to be the machined Harden M2C ones. You'll notice with this chassis, you can drop in an Arma LiPo tray with the receiver box as well as the servo setup. So this is absolutely genius by Mitch and Avery. Obviously you could still run the sledge setup, but this is definitely my preferred. You'll notice with the motor mount, Mitch came up with these little uprights for both sides. Essentially this will allow you to anchor on the Arma body support. No shortage of ingenuity by Mr. Looper. Again, guys, I'm not exactly sure what this kit will come with online. Definitely gonna come with the chassis, the tower to tower brace, the tower mounts, 7075 towers, of course. So far, this setup has taken absolute beating with my Bash Brothers on the test team. As far as the other upgrades, I'm running the M2C 7075 suspension blocks front and rear. Also running their outdrives, their CVDs and dog bones. Should mention, I'm still running Arma 6S tow links both front and rear. I covered this months ago in another video when I first got the truck. I just like having the adjustability to be able to set my camber on my toe. You'll notice for this build, I did opt to put a Vitavon alloy rear bulkhead on. Went ahead and ordered a trail for the front. The rear's already got an upgraded spiral gear set. Just waiting to go ahead and upgrade the front as well. Running the Silky Smooth ZRS M2C shock setup with the O-ring style pistons, M2C shock standoffs. You'll notice I'm also still running my VG Racing Springs front and rear. Dampening's feeling pretty good up front. I do think I am due for another shock rebuild. 
I'll generally do that every 15 to 20 runs or whenever I start noticing a little difference in performance. You'll notice how the bracketing bolts to the front tower. This sucker just went together so smoothly, guys. I'm absolutely stoked. Here's a quick shot of the jackhammer next to my orange darling. Definitely one of my favorite rigs of all time. Again, this is using the longer Mojave chassis. You'll notice when I get the wheels lined up, it looks like the jackhammer is probably a good inch longer than the Creighton XL. As far as total weight, this adds about one pound versus the previous setup. That's honestly not bad when you consider how absolutely beefy this sucker is. You'll see I'll be starting out with my 6S to boot backflips. These are definitely one of my favorite bash wheels of all time. Also running the M2C plus 6.5 millimeter wheel hexes. All right, guys, enough babbling and hogwash. My dog Gus is barking it up. Once again, guys, huge shout out to Mitch and Avery Looper with M2C Racing for hitting constant home runs. They just keep knocking it out of the park with all these killer upgrade options. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Hope you're doing something fun with your families. Hopefully we can get through testing soon, guys, and you'll see these kits available online. And of course, a shout out to all my other testing brothers. guys I'm gonna walk her back at LVC I'm tired of trashing my lipos I gotta say so far I'm absolutely loving this setup just check my temps switch my pack the motor got up to 170 which is definitely right at the threshold of too hot ESC only got up to maybe 98 didn't have to pick a single rock out of the chassis bay I think that's just because not having the skirt back here that rides all the way up to the C block just lets everything kind of jettison out the back David just got here with his check this out 17 scale buggy here Heck yeah, baby. Yeah, this is, uh, body looks familiar for sure. Oh, heck yeah, jackhammer. <laughs> dude, that looks so sick. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this is definitely a different look, man. This looks freaking sick, though. Yeah, the 4985 is just perfect for this platform. Hopefully the blue turd won't turd itself out today. It mounted up, no problem, though, huh? Yep. yep, that's friggin' sick, bro. And 2C has all the proper fixings. Yep, definitely a good size comparison with the jackhammer, dude. Yep. Good old Typhon success. So you guys will notice what David set up. He kept the stock battery tray. He's definitely got a way better servo in his than I do right now. Definitely a handler. She looks planted, Dave. Oh yeah, it has to be way better with that chassis. Yep. Oh! <laughs> I think that tire might have blown up, but time to blow it. Oh. Nice. 
<laughs> nice, shall we? Oh, nice, Victor. So much more fun. Yeah, it's awesome, huh, bro? Yeah, dude, the longer <laughs> chassis, dude. Oh, yeah. No, it completely changes the handling, how much power you can get down. Oh! <laughs> shave it, baby, shave it. <laughs> Oh, gorgeous, Victor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, your tire is so trash. <laughs> oh. Nice. <laughs> Got some hidden obstacles in the weeds, guys. So far, the chassis is looking perfectly straight. The body's actually holding up quite well. Just gonna have to take a breather, check my temps, and check my voltage. Beautiful day. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, this sucker handles the rough stuff pretty good, man. I mean, it's definitely not fifth scale level, but I'm impressed. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go a little off course, Johnny. All right, guys. Huge shout out to my Bash brothers for making it out. Like I said earlier, happy late Father's Day for all you dads out there. Super impressed with the jackhammer. Want to give a huge thanks once again to Mitch and Avery Looper for their constant innovation. All right, guys. Until next time. Late.